Taylor Swift became the most streamed album on Spotify in one day. With 10 tracks of her new album, she occupies the first 10 places in the US charts. This is an absolute record and a reason for me to make a deconstruction video of the song Antihero, which is currently at number one. My name is Thomas Foster, I'm a music producer and in this video we recreate the arrangement of the Taylor Swift song Antihero together. Good to have you here, let's go! Okay, let's start with the tempo. We go down to something like 97 should be okay. Um, and now we find the bass drum. We go to the drums kick folder. I found something that is called kick vinyl DLB and I place it on the one of my first bar. We pitch the sample down to something like minus five half notes. And we make a little fade out to make it a little bit more dry. Let's copy the sample uh, to 16th in front of the 1.3. And now we add the equalizer to bring down the high frequencies with the shelf EQ at something like 3 kilohertz. And with a high pass filter, we push a little bit with a peak at 100 hertz. Now I'm searching for a snare called snare 505. I place it on the 1.2. We pitch it down four half notes and then we copy it to the uh, 1.4. Let's add a little filter where we filter a little bit with a low pass filter at three kilohertz. And we add a delay in 16th. But as I want to hear more repeatings on the second snare, uh, I make an automation so on the first uh, snare, 20% of feedback and 40% on the second snare. On every second sample, I would love to hear a clap. And I found a nice uh, sample called 9 EN set clap 2. Let's place it on the 1.4, means on the second snare. Let's make a little fade out and let's bring down the volume a little bit to minus 3 or 4. And now we come to something very cool. In the original track of Taylor Swift, I hear something like an old locomotive, this 16th beat. I hear this in three frequency areas. Let's start with the low frequencies with the serum. And I add a little arpeggiator in front of the serum uh, and I place it on 16th. So now we take care that the sub and the oscillator one is on. And on the oscillator one, we go to the basic MG wavetable. I think MG is like MOOC synthesizer. And we place a low pass filter at 700 hertz. And now we take a look to the volume, the envelope one. We go down with the sustain with the decay to one five. Let's add a little attack in the beginning. Let's listen. Yeah, I like this low 16th beat, but let's add a LFO tool. So the first two 16th have less volume than the 16, three and four. So the only thing we have to do now is to create a little note on B1 and we make this exactly for one bar. And let's bring down a little bit the volume because it really has to be in the background. Let's go to something like minus eight. I like the sound of the low frequencies. Let's uh, add something for the mid range. Uh, let's take the clap 808 and place it in the beginning. Let's reverse it and find the best part. Uh, we pitch it down three half notes and duplicate it in 16th. Okay, now we need some effects. Let's start with the reverb, maybe a short reverb. And we add a little filter, uh, maybe a low pass filter at something like, uh, mm, uh, let's go down to 700 Hertz. 
Maybe also we filled a little bit the low frequencies. And let's place, guess what, a LFO tool to bring a little bit dynamic to the speed. Okay, for our locomotive beat we have low frequencies, mid frequencies, so let's add some high frequencies. For this we load the analog synthesizer, we mute oscillator 1 and 2 and turn on the noise generator. Let's go to amp 1 to add an envelope. We go down with the sustain to 0 um, and with the, uh, with the decay, we go to 180, I would say. Um, let's listen, yeah. Um, also short release time. And we add a high pass filter, the high pass 12 dB. And go down to 66, something like this, 70. On the high frequencies, I want to hear special rhythmic. Let's place a note on the one. Uh, then we place two sixteenth here and here, add another note here, and in the second half bar we use the command duplicate to place it on every sixteenth. Also on the high frequencies we need some effects. Let's start with the reverb, very short. We filter it a little bit, go down to 30%. Then we add a ping pong delay uh, in sixteenth. And guess what? Again, the LFO tool to bring a little bit dynamic to the beat. I think the drums are okay for now. Let's go to the bass. For this we load a great plugin called the Mutant Player. Let's add uh, my favorite sound, the Deep 101 bass that I use very often. We create a pattern over two bars. The whole track is in E major, but we start with uh, A major. And the second chord is pushed, means one eighth earlier. Uh, so uh, we go on the second chord to E major, the basic chord. Then we go to B1 and again pushed is the last chord, the C sharp minor. So let's listen. Now I want to have a really full and bright pad sound. And to get this, we layer some sounds, we merge some sounds. That's very easy to do in the Mutant Player. Let's add the Jupiter Square, uh, bring down the volume a little bit. Um, we add the Jupiter Strings here with a double click. And what else do we use? Um, ah, here, something special is a great sound. Okay. And now we copy the bass MIDI track to our pad track. And now we want to create a chord. So we copy the bass note, four half notes up and three half notes up to make it a major chord. But here at the last chord, we need a minor chord. So let's bring down the middle note, a half note. And in the first chord, I want to hear a major seven chord. So let's add another third on it and now we have to move some notes an octave up or down to make it sounding nicer a little bit higher so let's bring these two guys up and also these two chords now let's listen The last thing I would like to add is an arpeggiator sound. To do this, we duplicate the uh, pad track. Uh, we go to the new Mutant player, delete the three synths, and now we add a more plucky synthesizer sound. So we go to synth and find the uh, plastic synth. Let's add the arpeggiator. And uh, here with a double click, we go to 16th and now we add another octave by making steps one. And um, let's add a delay, maybe 3 16th, a little ping pong. This should be good. So here comes the test. 
It's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me At tea time, everybody agrees We at Mugent have been working hard to create a new plugin that is more musical than anything else out there. We are thrilled to present the Mugent Player. Each instrument in the Mugent Player comes with a composition, MIDI files you just drag and drop into your session, so you can be inspired not only by a sound, but also by an exciting melody or characteristic chord progression. All of our instruments and MIDI files can be downloaded from the cloud. This means that every time you open the plugin, there might just be a new patch or a new MIDI file waiting for you. Simply double click to load it into your plugin. In addition to the individual instruments, the Mugen player also has kits. These are arrangements that sound like a complete song. With a single click, you can load all the patches and as soon as you've dropped the MIDI files into your DAW, you can start using them to create something new. But the most incredible thing is, the basic version of Mugen Player is free. Click on the link in the video description to get the Mugen Player. In it, you will find a large selection of instruments, MIDI files, and kits that you can download for free and start using right away. Get the Mugen Player now and create music inspired by great sounds and compositions. Mugent, to make music.